flying with you. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hashtag vlog MQ and it's me your flying babe, Mike Sol. So today is May 27, 2020 and today isasama ko kayo sa aking flight. Just this morning, I was informed na lilipad ako for two legs flight this afternoon. So after this video, magpe-prepare na ako and medyo excited ako ngayon kasi syempre yung lipad namin is a batch flight. Meaning to say, yung mga kasama ko sa flight are my batch mates. Syempre, uh, mas masaya yun. Matagal na rin kami hindi nagkakasama sa flight so nakakawa. By the way, yung sweeper flight pala, it's actually different from commercial flight. So yung sweeper flight, usually ginagawa yon para dun sa mga, for example, OFW na umuwi ng Philippines and kailangan umuwi sa kanilang province. Or yung mga stranded, it's also what we call rescue flight. So yun, ang dami yung pong nag-PPM sa akin kung bumalik na ba sa dati. Kung meron na ba ulit na flights going to different places here in the Philippines or sa ibang basa. Yun, ang reply ko lang, we only have cargo flights and sweeper flights or special flights for the meantime. So let's just wait for this coming month kung bumalik na. We'll be flying to Lex from Manila to Tacloban and from Tacloban back to Manila. So ayon, we'll be utilizing aircraft 1820, meaning to say 4 man crew lang kami, uh, 1 lead cabin crew, si ma'am later. And yun, the rest, kami tatlo, kami yung magkakabatch, kami yung bubuo ng foreman ko. Ano daw? <laughs> See you later, Sahara and Austin. Flying with you. So for now, since as you can see, hindi pa ako nakapag-ayos. I'll be preparing na and flying with me on this vlog. I'll try my best na may sama kayo sa flight namin. <laughs> Kung ano lang pwede kong maipakita sa flight, yun lang. And I just want to share a portion from our flight today. So, tara na at magpre-prepare na ako. So guys, fasten your seatbelt and join me on this flight. Taking off, let's start! And guys, I'm done preparing myself. Sorry, hindi ko lahat napakita. Pero if you want to check how I prepare before flight, I actually posted a vlog about a day in the life of a cabin crew. So you can check it out. A few minutes ago, tumawag na sa akin si Sahara. I did expect na dadaanan niya pala ako dito sa apartment. Susunduin niya kami ni Austin. So yun guys, uh, it's around quarter to 1 p.m. already. And our reporting time is 1.30 p.m. So medyo maaga pa. So yun, ngiti-kiti muna bago ako mag-mask ulit when I go outside. So yun, safe flight for us. I know it will be a happy and fun flight since it's a batchy flight. Ayan guys, nandito na pala siya sa labas. Ah, ang init! Ayan siya! Hi guys! Hi! Magic life, Austin! Inet grabe. A few moments later. Flying with you. Hi. 
So, ayun guys, since wala pa yung aircraft namin, hindi plan na kumain na lang muna dito sa canteen. So, pinayagan naman kami and here you go, nandito kami. Meanwhile, you ask, you ask the lelong, you ask the bald, the bald lelong. <laughs> You're getting into my nerves. Wow. So guys, as of the moment, na cancel yung flight namin to Tacloban. So we're just waiting if mabibigyan kami ng flight or other flight today or not, baka umuwi na lang kami. Interview muna tayo ngayon. So, ayun sa Hara. Hi guys! Nakailang beses ka apply bago ka maging cabin? Um, sa company natin like twice bago ako nakapasok. My first try was way back 2015 <laughs> 2018 parang nagana pa ako ng first job then since this is my dream job I tried applying with Palak but suddenly na legwak ganer na ako <laughs> then yon nagtry ulit ako after so many years after ka magwork sa office nagtry ulit ako sa Palak then luckily so, ano yung mga ma-advise mo sa mga aspirants na yun, yung mga gustong mag-apply as cabin crew? Well, ang ma-advise ko lang is just to keep trying and never give up kasi lahat naman tayo is duman sa ganyan. I mean, lahat coming through duman sa ganyan. Super smart mo lang talaga if in your first try nakapasok ako. So, yun. Just never give up. Then, improve na lang natin sa self natin. Yung mga natin improve para pagdating sa interview, pasok tayo kagad. One hour later. So sad kasi na-cancel yung flight namin. Hindi kami nagkaroon na kapalit na flight. Uh, more flying school sa dito sa Floban. But since nag-advising ground and yung scheduling as well na-cancel na so, balik na kami ng lounge. Uwi na. Uwi na. A few moments later. Yay! Atid kami ni Sahara. So then guys, I'm home. It's almost 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon and nakansal nga yung flight namin to Tacloban. And very sad kasi syempre, it's a batch flight. Bihira kami magkakabatch na magkalipad, lalo na ngayon. Konti pa lang yung flights na meron. It's a sweeper flight actually. So, sad. Siguro may balat yung kabatch ko. The joke lang. As you can see naman earlier sa video na to, na kapag-bonding naman kahit ka paano, few hours na magkakasama kami, nakapag-kwentuhan, and kumain din kami sa canteen sa airport while waiting. Share ko na lang din sa inyo guys, uh, idea lang sa mga positions sa loob ng aircraft. Since we are four-man crew, we have R1, R2, and L1, which is the lead cabin crew, yung L1, then L2, the second most senior. But since magkakabash kami ng tatlo, except dun sa lead cabin crew, uh, ang ginawa na lang namin, inayaan kami ng lead cabin crew namin, mamili ko anong gusto namin position, and yun, so si Sahara yung naging R1, siya yung assigned sa harap, siya yung kasama ni lead cabin crew, and she is assigned also sa business class, if meron man. Then sa likod naman, we're talking about A320 na aircraft, guys, ha? So, yun, sa likod naman, we have L2 and R2. Si L2, usually, siya yung second most senior sa flight. Mag-accept ng mga, for example, endorsement from catering, yung mga niload na snacks, yun. R2, kasama ni L2. Kapag may BOB or buy on board, siya yung mag magsasell ng mga products, or sometimes, siya rin yung assigned sa exit row briefing and also assist sa cabin. There's a lot of 
responsibilities pa hindi ko na lang na mention kung nakalimutan ko man so yun guys actually dapat around 6 yung balik namin sa Manila to work with. parang 1 hour na lang sana tapos na yung flight namin pero okay lang that's natural it's normal na nakakancel minsan yung flight for sure there's a big reason behind it since nakancel yung flight to today share ko na lang din sa inyo yung flight ko nung Monday it's also a sweeper flight to Iloilo at the end of this video I will play parang summary or overview ng flight ko nung Monday via TikTok siya guys thank you sa mga sumusupport sa akin sa TikTok videos ko my TikTok account is Mike Kinson so I think that's it for now I hope kahit di natuloy yung flight namin today ito pa na naipakita ko sa inyo yung routine ko ngayon COVID season as you can see na naka mas na talaga, that's the new normal for us. And inside the aircraft, full PPE before boarding ng mga passengers, dapat nakasuot na kami nun. Extra careful na lang tayo guys kapag nasa public tayo. So, yun, always hand wash, wear your mask, and be healthy. Madami rin pagbabago talaga sa airport. Be observe and practice social distancing. Kaya guys, if you plan to fly somewhere here in the Philippines, expect na mahaba talaga yung pila. Kaya agahan nyo yung pagpunta before your departure time. Please always wear a mask. Kasi it's your protection para hindi tayo magkaroon ng sakit or ng virus. If you have any questions, please do comment there. I will try to answer those questions as much as I can. And if you're new on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button there for you to get notified for my upcoming vlogs. Stay awesome and always wear a smile. Flying with you soon! So guys, today I'll be flying two legs from Manila to Iloilo and from Iloilo back to Manila.